I, obviously I'm um, flattered, honored by it. Uh, but you know, I grew up uh, near uh, Cleveland, uh, and that's where the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame is. You know, in Cleveland, and there's two ways you get in the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame: either you're a soloist, or you're a member of a band. You know. The, the Stones, uh, the Beatles, you know, and, and clearly uh, I would not be a soloist getting in here. It, it's 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 a it's something that uh, you're only able to achieve if you're with a really wonderful group of people. I mean, there are spectacular individual scientists. Uh, I'm not one of those. Um, what we were able to achieve, I achieved because I had a great team uh, working with, with me, uh, and really, it's it's all those people that make it happen. It's one of those things where um, you have to look at uh, your failures or where your disappointments and find out why they were disappointing and uh, many times that's uh, a key to success. So um, I've been working for many years uh, in the area of marrow transplantation and still uh, work very hard in that area. Um, early on when Don Thomas uh, developed marrow transplantation, um, the idea was that you could destroy a person's bone marrow, whether it be normal or abnormal, of course we would do it for an abnormal bone marrow, leukemia, or and destroy it and replace it with a normal one. And the easiest way to destroy bone marrow was by giving total body radiation. Um, the problem is that uh, we're giving radiation to the bone marrow to kill it, but you're also giving radiation to the lungs and the GI tract, and there's toxicity involved with that. Um, plus, the amount of radiation you can give to the bone marrow is limited by the toxicity to the other organs. And so we had the idea that maybe you could take a monoclonal antibody, hook up a radioisotope, which gave off its energy very locally, inter uh, introduce that intravenously, it would home to the bone marrow, it would give radiation right to that spot, and it ought to work. Um, so the very first patient that we did this in, we had a monoclonal antibody uh, against uh, a, a CD33, which is uh, a an antigen on the surface of myeloid cells, and we hooked it up to I131. Uh, and um, we've done this in animal models, uh, but not the exact antigen uh, antibody complex. We were going to treat the very first patient uh, with this anti-CD33 radio-labeled antibody. Um, and uh, we were all there around the patient while we were doing it. It was a, a young guy who had acute myeloid leukemia. And we actually did it under a gamma camera so we could see where the antibody actually went second by second. So we injected it intravenously um, and we watched as the bone marrow lit up like a Christmas tree. We had, my God, we're going to Stockholm. This is fantastic. This really is so exciting. Um, and so we went home and the next morning we came back and scanned the patient again. Everything was gone. There was nothing in the bone marrow.